morning, Year One. Welcome to Wednesday's phonics lesson. We will begin as we always do by revising the sounds that you know. A. Ow. I. E. Oi. Uh. U. As in Q. Or U. As in blue. Or, w, sh, u, o, or, e, a, e, i, o, u, as in cube, or u, as in flute. Now time for our tricky words. O, oh. there, people, mister, missus, looked, called, asked, could. So the focus sound today is I, I, the pies and fries, I, so two letters, I and E make the sound I. It's a diagraph. Now we're going to do some segmenting and blending practice. We will begin by blending, so have your robot arms out and ready to blend the speech sounds together to work out what word I'm trying to say. Okay, first word, k, r, i, d. Cried. Next word, t, r, i, d. Tried. D, e, n, I d denied. R I d fried. Very good. So now, can you get your phoning fingers out? And I'm going to say the whole word, and I want you to break that whole word into its individual sounds. So, for example, if I said cried, you would go k r i d cried, and cried has got four sounds. Okay, your turn. I would like you to segment the word tried. T -r -i -d, tried. Can you please segment the word denied? D -e -n -i -d, denied. And the last one, can you please get your phoning fingers out and segment fried? R-I-D, bride. Okay, I, L-I, lie. You can see the diagraph, I, P, I, pie. I can see the diagraph, I, K, R-I-D. Cried. Your turn. Replied. Denied. Now for some nonsense words. So these are alien made up words that we would never see in books. Okay, I am going to look for the diagraph. So I can see a diagraph I know, I, and I can see another di diagraph I know, sh, sh, r, i, d, shride. Okay, I'm gonna split this word here. And I can see a diagraph. We. T. E. N. J. Oi. Ten joy. Now we're going to read some sentences. Okay, in this sentence, I can see some sounds that we know. I can see a split diagraph. I can see I pies and fries. I can see A may I play. 
I can see the w where's Wally. I can see a snail in the rain. I can see owl shouted out. And I can see the split diagraph I. So I'll give you a minute to read that. And the sentence reads, we can bake a pie today while it rains outside. OK, this sentence is a little bit longer. Remember, when we're reading, it's really important that we are fluent. We're not reading like robots. So what I would like you to do is read this sentence a few times until your reading sounds nice and smooth. You can see here that there's a little comma. When you see a comma or a full stop, it means you need to pause and take a breath. A comma means that you pause and take a little short breath and the full stop means it's the end of a sentence. So let's have a go first at working out the words. I can see oi, toy for a boy. I can see I, split diagraph. I can see ow, ng, ow. And I can see a. So the sentence read, the boys ran inside shouting as the clouds dropped rain. Can you see how my voice was nice and smooth while I was reading? Okay, last sentence. I can see I, pies and fries. I can see w, where's Wally? Ow, ow, uh, and I. The sentence reads, Tim cried when he found out his brother had lied. So read these sentences a few times. You can pause the video and just practice reading until the sentence in your reading is nice and smooth, not like a robot. OK, phoneme detectives. Here is your phoning spotter story for today. So all of the sounds that are in this story, you have already been taught in school. So this is your chance now to apply all of those sounds that you know to your reading. I would like you to read this more than once because in this text, there's lots of commas. There's full stops, so you have to practice, and exclamation marks, sorry. So you have to practice pausing and taking a little breath when you can see a comma, pausing at the exclamation mark. We can see speech marks or talking marks, so that means that that's when the character is talking. So there you need to change your voice to sound like the character and read with expression. So it's really important that when you're reading, you're not just saying the words, but you're reading with expression. You're pausing at the punctuation. And then when you finish, you can tell someone what happened in this. And this is a really important skill that you need to be doing every time you're reading a book. So you're not just reading something once, you're reading it a few times to practice that fluency and expression. And this will all be up on our class page as well. Another activity which will be up on our class page, which you may choose to do as well, is trash or treasure. In trash or treasure, you are reading the words that have the focus sound, which is I. And you have to read the words and work out, is it a real word? And if it's a real word, you can put it over with the real words. Or is it a nonsense alien word? And if it's an alien word or a nonsense word, you need to put it over here. So this will be up on the web page as well.